guy is a genuine WoW fan. He's such a nerd and he j just wants to play the game. Give the guy what he wants! God damn it! Look at how pathetic he looks! Give him what he wants! I want to give him everything! He's a super diehard fan and he cares about the game and all he cares about is tier sets and doing the next dungeon in WoW. And he wants Season of Discovery to be great again! Give it to him! Give me a tissue. Give me... I need to... I need to wipe my tears. Okay, I'm ready to continue. Can Phase 4 save Season of Discovery? I'm really curious to see that video because according to my news... Yeah? What were you saying? Season of Discovery is dead. And I'm actually surprised that Phase 4 it's not out yet. It's no secret that the player base has been in decline for many weeks now, and much of the player base feel like Phase 3 has been the main reason why Season of Discovery is quote unquote slowly dying. And it's easy to see why. From the heights of nearly half a million logged players on Ironforge Pro during Black Fathom Depths in Phase 1, to the current lows of only just over 60,000 logged players during Phase 3 oh. for some Temple. That's oh, did you see that? 60,000, oh, from half a million to 60,000. Uh, it feels like my YouTube channel, honestly, that's depressing. It's a meteoric drop of nearly 88% from the peak of Phase 1 to the current phase we're at now. So I guess it's time to move on from Season of Discovery and go play Cataclysm, Retail, or other games completely. Right? Mm, not quite. Phase 4 and the introduction to the real endgame is just around the corner. Level 60 free risk gearing, access to all of the dungeons available in the game, the rest of Blackrock Depths, Stratholm, Upper Blackrock Spire. Oh, Blackrock Depths, Blackrock Spire, my favorite dungeons. Everyone's favorite dungeons. <sighs> exactly not the dungeons who everyone spams just to get through that freaking hell that is 45 to 60 yeah, and many more end game profession recipes for crafting the tier 0.5 quest line Altrak valley and of course 20 player molten core and this is just Altrak valley some of the content available at the very start of level 60 in the original iteration of vanilla let alone any other potential additions that will be added such as a new pvp event or open wait, 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 wait. he's talking about potential additions even so there is nothing set in stone there is nothing that blizzard have confirmed is this what you're trying to say to me old event crafting quest lines or reputations just to name a few and let's be real here the majority of the players who are not currently playing season of discovery are just waiting for phase four and the true end game as we know the current phase has been extended to give the developers extra time to make phase four right they could have just launched phase four Ah, sorry. Sorry. That was funny. They ha they need more time to make this right. What were you doing this whole time, goddammit? Pretty much the same time as Cataclysm and fragmented the playbase even further. However, I believe they are learning from their mistakes, slowly but surely. They probably didn't expect Season of Discovery to become- I just want to see what- one season of discovery die hard is hopeful for to happen in season of discovery brother season of discovery is not gonna be ascension all of the sudden season of discovery have died at the moment we've entered season of discovery and we realized that all you have to do is enchant to enchant your gloves to do a firebolt whenever you're a mage or to do another ability they took from retail in order to be able for you to do in classic um, as popular as it did and it quickly overwhelmed the classic team that was working on season of discovery as well as other versions of world of warcraft they know the importance of the level 60 end game and they also know the impact that no testing has had on the balance of some classes or experiences within the world such as the dreaded incursion event which is oh they're super bothered about balance right now everyone the balance what are we gonna do with the balance they're sweating themselves with the balance day and night what they, that's what the blizzard team is doing they're they're figuring out the best way why was never a balanced game it's not balanced in classic it's not balanced in cataclysm it's not balanced in retail live with it it's that kind of game that is not balanced 
It's just the way it is. It's why we are now getting a PTR for Season of Discovery. Now, don't get me wrong, myself along with absolutely everyone loved the idea that there was no PTR when Sod first released, and it definitely recreated some of that 2004 magic of playing vanilla World of Warcraft and discovering new things within the game for the first time. But we have quickly learned that with no testing comes a ton of issues such as bugs and imbalance, which ordinarily probably wouldn't be... And from this graph, we understand that arcane mages should delete the game. You don't see it, but here you go. Here you go. You now see it. Too much of a problem if the resources are there to act on the issues instantly. Though, as already mentioned, the team is stretched too thin throughout various versions of World of War. Dude, this guy realizes that there is not one theme that is working on all of these four things, right? There are probably four teams that are working on these four teams. So why why he's on Team Blizzard? I just don't understand. Warcraft for this to realistically happen. So having a public test realm before the launch of the most crucial phase is definitely a huge step in the right direction to help balance classes and mitigate any potential bugs going forward. There will be major class changes and in time- I just realized something. Phase 3 is out for months and there's not even a PTR for Phase 4. Even though there's gonna be a PTR for Phase 4. Love to see it, man. <laughs> oh, I love to see how the player base will drop to 20k. Entire class overhauls, which leads us to believe they are putting- By the way, there is a strange smell. I don't know what is happening, but- in some serious work to make some classes and specs feel so much better, as we know the quality of some runes in the later phases were a little bit meh. I mean, for example, oh, really? I main Retribution Paladin, and honestly, the playstyle for the Paladin is pretty sad. Your entire DPS revolves around swinging your weapon as fast as you can and spamming Exorcism, hoping that you can constantly crit for Art of War procs to keep on spamming, you wow. guessed it, Exorcism. So when I think of Rep Paladin, I don't think of a 2.0 weapon. Oh wow, he, he's even surprised that this is the case. First of all, you're playing Paladin in Classic. Second of all, Season of Discovery was a flop. There is your formula. Why the Paladin sucks. Are you surprised? We all knew that's gonna be the case from phase one, you know? Weapon speed, level 40, automatic crowd formula using little bitch. I speak for most of us rets when I say, we want a big, fat, slow two-hander with big hits. And then there's many more other- Everyone wants that, you know? The classes and specs that feel the same. Shadow Priest, for example, being pet debuffers, Holy Paladins having zero runes. Warriors, although powerful, just feel left out of the fun with boring runes and the list goes on. So the fact they fully acknowledge this and are taking the time to do major class changes and reworks really gives us the hope that playing your character in Phase 4 will feel much more immersive to the playstyle you hope for when you pick your class in the character creation screen. One of the most fun parts about Classic WoW as a whole is the Priebus gear in form. You get to experience- Oh my god, Priebus gear. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that gets me exciting. Oh, gear. Nice. Season of Discovery's best thing is gear. Everyone just loves True. a good fucking tier set. Some people love being in all matching gear for the aesthetics. Some just love the completion of getting a full tier. That's the only thing he's right about in this video. This video took another direction. I was expected to see for him saying blizzard will remake black rock spire to actually not be in the der in the way it is now and it's completely re reworked and it's gonna be a raid with blah 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 tier set that's actually useful and probably bis some people love the tier set bonuses and many of us love all of these things so the fact they are remaking all of the tier sets so they'll be usable by every class and spec combination is absolutely fantastic you'll no longer have to be a protection I mean, dude, this guy is absolute sadness to watch him this guy is a genuine wow fan he's such a nerd and he j just wants to play the game give the guy what he wants god damn it look at how pathetic he looks give him what he wants i want to give him everything he's a super diehard fan and he cares about the Gave it all he cares about is steer sets and doing the next dungeon in WoW. And he wants Season of Discovery to be great again. Give it to him! Warrior to use the warrior tier. Or a holy priest to use the priest tier. And maybe just for the first time, maybe a druid won't be 8 out of 8 geared in 2 runs of Molten Core. With all of sad. these specs available to play in Season of Discovery, means that the tier will most likely also come in a form of token. Just like we've had from all of the raids so far. 
Because imagine chasing an eight-piece set and five weeks in, all imagine you've had drop that. is the same at mage healing shoulders. Yeah, that wouldn't be ideal now, would it? We also know we're going to be getting a release type schedule similar to that of... <laughs> He's such a fan! 2019 classic. So if it follows suit, we should see Molten Core on Anixia first, then a few weeks later Blackwing Lair, followed by Zulgarub, both Anquirage raids and Naxxramas. Dude, they have also stated so there will be new and unique content coming to Season of Discovery, and there will be some surprises in between these raids. There's still a possibility for Karazhan Crypts or a Scarlet Monastery raid, and not to mention the already existing classic raids will all most likely be revamped. The, the guy the guy is so blind what season of discovery should have been from the beginning that he's so hooked on the thing that it is right now give me a tissue give me i need to i need to wipe my tears okay i'm ready to continue and based on how black fathom depths gnome Regan, and sunken temple turned out we're going to be getting some amazing revamped raids because in my opinion they had done a great job turning the most boring dungeons into actually quite fun and functional raids so imagine how quite fun man he said that they're quite fun how good the raids will be when they aren't based on the most boring dungeons He's but so yet cute. based on some of the most iconic and fun raids in world of warcraft I mean, granted, this does come with quite a heavy risk that if they fuck up the first few raids for Phase 4, you'll pretty much kill the game instantly. But I really don't think that's going to be the case. The raids themselves wasn't really the reason Season of Discovery was slowly bleeding out. It was more oh, because wow. of the lack of good content or incursions. But we're not really here to talk about incursions, and even if nothing new was released at all at level 60, you definitely have quite a fair Six bit there. of content releasing. Much more, in fact, than we've had so far throughout the entirety of Season of Discovery. Because even though vanilla or classic at its core is all about the journey it's no secret that the majority for a moment i thought that he's saying the season of discovery is all about the journey and i was uh like they have bamboozled their player base that season of discovery is all about the journey it's not the cool combinations you can do with your character but it's about the journey the majority of people care more about what's on offer at the end game because that's where the real content is we also need to remember that Season of Discovery has become somewhat of a bridge between Classic and Retail. The amount of Retail only- Where is that bridge, brother? Because I don't see it from a mile away. Where is that bridge? Season of Discovery is nothing close to Retail. It just has some spells from Retail on it, but not even a blink of a Retail. Retail is far more superior than what you see right now. The players I've come across within Season of Discovery who have previously barely even touched Classic is much more than I ever thought I'd see in a Classic-esque version of World of Warcraft. So a vast amount of players have probably not even stepped into these old raids since before 2019 Classic, maybe even since original Vanilla, or maybe never have even been in them at all. So I can quite easily see a major resurgence in the player base for the true endgame content to see what it's all about. And if it is exceedingly well, like how I personally think it will, then it has the potential to really get Season of Discovery back up there. So get yourself ready because when Phase 4 hits, believe me, the player base will come flocking back to Season of Discovery ready for the new PvP ranks, get their new Prebis, see whatever new content is waiting for us, and of course get themselves into a reimagined version of Molten Core. So to wrap up the video can phase four save season of discovery no <laughs> this guy's so cute i want to leave him alike i want you guys to leave him alike as well this this guy deserves the world he's so cute he just loves season of discovery he cares about the tier sets he's so cute the intro alone kind of got me hyped for fifa <laughs> this guy, they deserve better they deserve better Oh, man. What the fuck did I just watch, man? I just wasted 20 minutes of my life. Reconnect.